Greetings, I tried picking up the lock in her safe, so let's try um, to persuade her. Can I do it? I don't care. No, no, I don't see the web. Oh! I don't wanna kill Gladys, that's for sure. They did all of that. Okay, Gladys Grunbecker is dead and unable to sell you anything that might lead to a sense. What? No, no, no. Load the game. Yes, so she can sell me something regarding the weapon. Okay, I'll check it out more carefully now. Don't think wrong of me, I just noticed that there's quest items. Yeah, in the shop. The old data datapad contains incident reports from various murdered security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust up between the, the crews of wildcat fra freighters and co corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7 responded to, co to a code ID 10 t at the last lost hope. Vera asked us to bounce some back they a rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Dragon fool got into a scuffle with one of the engineer's ten sense people. We tossed the wrangleage back down to the base. Asshole never fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sanitra. Sanita. October 25th. Had another run in with the wrangleage from the last Lost Hope. Don't know how the appetite picker crawled out of the back bay without us noticing. Locked himself into the repair bay off of docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hull heads gotta come out eventually. This one. Wait, well, I thought I'm gonna see it. Okay, review mining archive. Wait, have I been there? Oh, it's somewhere up there. Wait a second. Stay out of sight. Be quiet. No, I don't think it's that way. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, because why I've been there, if there was any weapon, I would have found it by now. Oh, up here. <sighs> I don't trust her. Ooh, nice. Because that's in here. You're going down there? Yes, you are. Good, 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 good. Now, what do we have here? Nothing of interest, really. God damn it. Okay, where's the weapon? What was one of it? Okay. Where am I? I'm up here, so it's two levels down. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Somewhere up here. So here I don't know, I have no idea. Maybe. Not here. Come on, move. Hmm? What's that? Oh, that's just some news. Never mind. Yeah. Through here, maybe? Bart. How am I supposed to get there? I really am. Go 
come back a little bit over here. Really, it shows that there's some way through. Up there, I think. Just how the hell am I supposed to get up there? There, okay, there doesn't seem to be a way through, though. Hmm. Oh, for here. Okay, okay. Oh, yes! Quiet, would you? Okay, let's save that because I don't know what a those are a bunch of old law laws. I knew that's not gonna be a good idea. Well, I can just kill outlaws. Good job, I guess. Cool. But I don't have enough. I don't have a repair hunger key card. Any one of them has one on? No. God damn it. Oh, I can get down here though. Oh, thank you. It's gonna be useful. Oh, there's a leg. Probably can make it <laughs> through silently. Nice. Prismatic Hammer. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Yeah. Looks while rummaging through the back base, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that seemed to have been sealed for a really long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or tails of my discovery, a prototype hammer. I didn't know Hammersmith actually made hammers, but I brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows, the trail of its way lingers even when my eyes are closed. I've spent more time on the hammer, its internal workings are state of an art. Thermal, electrical and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering and many of its systems appeared rigged against tampering. There's a curious energy signature swirling around the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper and I have lost several teeth. I have had the most sublime prismatic dreams since I've invented the hammer into my bedchamber. Invited. Never mind that for now, good news first. The energy signature matches Blonditor's elusive end rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties for f to four, four. Shock, plasma, corrosion and radiation. Now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again, thinking it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental modes. I must take greater care with future experiments. I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for no. This is no prototype, I am simply too slow to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that this order rules all things, but with a little ambition we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute this order into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. Anything interesting? No? Okay, let's go back on our ship then. No? Uh, up? Up? We were? Promenade? 
Yep, I wanna go there. Okay. Captain Terminal Finna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the hell am I? <laughs> okay, I know. I know now. Yes, I'm not lost. Don't worry about me. I know perfectly where we are. I wonder what the other stuff I bought is for. Um, finally have the hammer, we may equip it on someone, but I don't think that they have required statistic for it. Oh well. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Okay, let them discuss. I don't really care about that. So we're in the sky. Oh. God damn it! God damn it! Really? Really? Why? Why do you keep doing this to me? Uh, or more like, why uh, do I keep doing this to myself? God damn it, really. Okay, let's check this hammer first. 72. If I equip it, 72. <laughs> okay, that's it. Ooh, nice. It's plasma now. I don't want to hit anyone on anything or anything. Okay, it's electric. Nothing? Or oh, radiation? Has to be something. Okay, it's busted. Yeah, one's busted. What a shame. Here? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really. I wanna be out of here already. Hello, Miss Lilia. Come on, let's talk. This is something Tobias could handle. See yourself out the door. I don't know what he can handle. I got the navki to Celebe. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay, what's Subway doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. What? Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. How unconventional? One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. The what the fuck? Including the cameraman. Okay, what kind of salvage are we looking for? The board pulled out of Monarch. They buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after Alta Vitae gas. Exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Nice. Too excited. The only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. Ooh. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Okay, I'll take the job, I guess. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. Sure. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Yes. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Probably. Yeah, definitely. Not for me. Nah, not for me. We're gonna die. Okay. No, here yeah, they're unreliable. Hopefully, there's nothing more for me to get here on the groundbreaker. Really.
I thought the characters were going to some glass. I cried some glass, so I'm going to make her go some other weapons science. Use the captain's terminal to. Yeah, okay, I will. So. Okay, I'll be there in a second. Search. Have I still my. No, 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 no. Eh. God. God damn it! This one. The captain sold her something called the rearranger, then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranger, rearranged is the number of bits on Harry's card. Looks like some strange tech or weapon, maybe a scientist can make something of it. Doc Caulfield couldn't save Lam, now I gotta arrest Harris for the, his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Bertie's office for now. Figure the list the site supervis supervisor can do is fill out the forms for whatever that damn thing is. Don't know how it's, I'm gonna detain Harris, not like we got prison cells on this rock. Okay. Cause of this is man, blunt force trauma, weapon unknown, took a good whack to the noggin. The facial area to be specific about it. It's all twisted up to nose is five times too big, jaw is shrunk to almost nothing, teeth are all out of kilter, though I suppose that was true predecessment. If the blow itself didn't kill him, there's no way he could have breathed with all that damage. Damn. Wait, okay, I thought there was something else. Alright, Sam? Install the acid stipper. Oh. Nice. Greetings, Sam. Oh. Yes. Sam. Where did you come from? Hmm, what do you say, Sam? You want to help me clean up this colony? <laughs> oh my god, no. Uh, welcome to the crew, Sam. Okay. Oh, you're so cute. I'm gonna take you with me next time. What's going on? Something on your mind? Um, no, no, not with you then. You? I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. I know. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. So, tell me what's on your mind. I excel at confessional listening. Okay, apparently I cannot. Oh, I found those skin points, so I'll be right back. Okay, there's that. We're done with that. Another perk. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll take the armor. Companion crit rate, yeah. Hmm. Ah, nothing interesting, I guess. Okay, now back to Ada. Oh, I should stop doing that. Do I need to talk to you about something? Mm hmm. Search the outpost. Yeah, the empty man. I will go for that one. Wait, what? Lila has heard from the Solar Bay. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Yeah. Or well, maybe let's go to the Phineas's lab. One there, one there. A lot there. And an empty man. Yeah, we'll go to the Monarch running. Dangerous Cascadia landing pod. Okay, we'll still start with Stellar Bay landing pod, just in case I don't want to get into trouble too early. Thank you, Ada. Okay, so we're going with Max and Sam. Can I take him? Yes, I can! Okay, uh, you, don't, don't. You and you. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Alright, that doesn't look safe at all. Yeah, we have a robot. Can I equip him something? I can? No, I cannot. Sam's equipment is permanently attached to his frame and cannot be removed. Okay. Increase your in intimidate skill when Sam is at the... Give me that. 
I will give him more base health as well. Some tool moves them to auto mechanicals. Nice. Oh my god, don't do that. Fine school. Fine school, or yeah, we're going for that. Where's the. Where's the button? You don't expect me to jump down from here, do you? Oh, nice. That's not very welcome. Oh. Wait for me! Oh, there it is! Yeah, I'm blind. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Sure. I don't think I've seen you around. <laughs> that means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yes, I am. Well, that is my ship in the put right next to you. I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. Good for you. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Mm. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even gonna give you your own entry code. Yay! I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Celebrate is really that isolated? We ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. You're not what I expected to find on Monarch, to be honest. That'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board right? has lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and what. Right, yeah. But that's all outside our walls, mostly. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place then? Oh sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. You get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Mm. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Understandable. Okay, I'm gonna take a look Sanjar, around them. Pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Of course. Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. What kind of favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure. I can ask about the poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Okay. Now let's try getting into the yacht club, I guess. I don't know, I'm not sure. Come on, show it to me, please. No, it's beyond. I really wanna make the side quest. What do you need? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. I think you're overreacting a bit, but is your child missing? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the woman to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? Okay. He's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. 
And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Really? Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay, I've heard a thing that he's not so little as you're calling him to be. Oh, so it's so beautiful. It's so far away. Okay, I guess we'll meet once I'm there. Hold on to your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. Oh well, okay. Order neutralizing. Aerosol spray now. Thank you, Sam. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.